Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, in this game, um, I actually played really, really well and I ended up getting the victory and what I wanted to do was basically just kind of emphasize, you know, I had made a video about the things that I do in a game and just how I play and, and um, I just started streaming on, on Mixer, so I'm just getting started there and um, so I was, this is actually from like my first stream, uh, playing there and the whole point of sort of this video is I just kind of wanted to show again, just a real game without breaking everything down. The things that I do that just kind of allow me to get myself in a position to win. Cause that again, that is just how I enjoy the game. So I don't go for the kills. I, I don't try to get into build battles. You know, fun for me is getting the victory. So everything I do in this game is designed specifically to put me in a position to get to the end of the game, not to go looking for fights. That's just not what I was trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to basically be somewhat quiet in this game um, to get to the very end, just so I can be in a position to win. So. As we kind of go through this video, I'm going to just try to highlight the things that I was doing that would allow me to be in that position. So, first of all, I am all the way down here in Frosty Flights. I'm in this area um, where the bus had come in. This was a pretty safe place to go. Now, I was trying to get over to Frosty here because part of the one of the challenges for the for whatever week we're on, I don't know, uh, was basically to eliminate opponents at at uh, Frosty Flight. I had a hot spot. So this hot spot was Frosty Flights. So this is the only place to go. So I picked a spot where I could kind of get some weapons before I got over there. And we'll go ahead and kind of fast forward a little bit. Because uh, I don't actually get to <laughs> fight anybody here, which was really annoying. I knew that there was somebody here, but I couldn't find them. And then something happens. The guy that I'm looking for is basically down there, and uh, I tell you what, we will uh, slow it back down, and this guy, I don't know what the deal is, but I played, this is, I'm playing Arena, by the way, um, I played two Arena games in a row, and both times I saw somebody basically take themselves out, so I wasn't quite sure what this guy was doing, but... And I haven't even seen this before, so I have no idea. Rainy 101. <laughs> what is this guy doing? I don't know. So anyway, let's just go back to me. So I'm looking for this idiot. He's somewhere down here. I say idiot. I call everybody an idiot. Don't, don't take personal offense to this. But anyway, this joker is somewhere over here. We'll fast forward real quick just so you can kind of see what he ends up doing. Which... I know that he's down below, so what I was doing, I was waiting to see where he was going to pop out. And he ends up, I miss him, I went over here. And there's nothing there. I come back, and this guy... Oh, slow it down. There he is over there, shooting himself up. Coming back down. He's not taking damage, so then he does this. And he killed himself. I, and I'm sitting there watching that and I'm saying, w was there somebody else there? Like, why was this happening? Didn't know. Guy just killed himself. Knock yourself out. Have fun. So anyway, um, all that's basically going to happen from here is we'll fast forward because obviously there's a lot of uh, space that goes in between. So we don't need to watch all that. But the main thing that I was trying to do was um, I wanted to get a hoverboard. And the reason you want to make sure for where I was, was to get a hoverboard, was because I knew my, my goal was to be to get up here to Polar Peak. Once I get up to Polar Peak, okay, well that gives me a ton of advantage because anytime you can, you want to try to be elevated. You don't want to be in a valley if you have the ability to get up. So, let's look at some other people that were in here. Big Bad Clips. He's got five kills. I'm just shooting the... Um, Watch them a jig it. The little loot crate things, whatever they are. Um, but anyway, that's basically what's going on here. So I'm down here running around, getting all this stuff. I've got my sniper rifle now. So 
it, putting yourself up in a position like to be up on Polar Peak, you you need to have a way to get down. Since I didn't have gliders, I was going to need to have the hoverboard, which was a, it's better to have the hoverboard than like gliders. Don't pick up gliders um, if you can; it takes up a slot. So, all right, well let's go ahead and we're gonna fast forward here. We'll put it on gameplay. And we're gonna jump all the way basically to here real quick so you can kind of see where I'm at So I'm up in Polar Peak, and I knew that there had been somebody else up here uh, I knew that And why won't it let me move my map? Whatever anyway, so I'm kind of looking to see if whoever was still up here um, I thought I had seen somebody but I apparently I didn't so we'll go ahead and again, we'll just kind of fast forward over to here. Now I got really lucky with these, with these um, circles. Circles were really good. Um, I never had too far to travel. So there's still only one person in here at this point. Good night, man. So we got Burst Bouncy down here. He's somewhere down there. Now I could see some shots coming in. So now I knew as the circle's getting smaller. I mean, there was only eight of us left at this point. So again, I'm doing exactly what it is that I want to do. What I want to do is get to the end of the game because that's where I'm... Basically, I've said before, in order to win the game, you don't win it with 50 people to go. You win it basically when you hit 20 people. When you hit 20 people, that's when you're entering the end of the game. That's when you've really got to focus and make sure that you're not looting anymore. You're looking for, you know, your targets of opportunity, etc., etc. So as that number keeps decreasing, I mean, you still should not be looting at this point. So, sure's the world. Okay, so now I see where the next circle is going to be. And it's obviously, you know, you can see where I'm at, even though I'm not in the, outside the blue zone. I don't know why it does that. But, um, so I'm still just looking, still looking everywhere. Down to five people at this point, guys. There's five people left, and I'm one of them. So I got four enemies. Now, I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that I'm up on top of this mountain. I've got 45 seconds to go. I'm in no rush. I've got my hoverboard. I've got everything I need to have to be able to get to where I want to be, to be safe in the circle. And I kind of want to see where people are going to end up so I can kind of pick a place to go where I'm not, like, the moment I get there, I'm basically in a fight. Um, I'd, I'd rather get into the circle, be safe for the moment, kind of look around, and then go from there. So, uh, let's see, who is it that's moving up here? So we got Seekin, Burst Bouncy, and the other two guys really are somewhere over here on this point. One of them just showed up. So I go ahead and move my board to be in closer proximity. I'm looking down here now because I was positive, okay, if I don't see two of the guys, one of them might be over here come around the corner here and I just take a I take a really good shot as uh, at the end of the day is what ends up happening here so you'll see it here in a second so I see this guy line him up and I actually get that guy down uh, it said 110 damage but he actually went down now I can see that this guy had shots coming in. I can see this other guy coming over here. Still 35 seconds to go, so I'm still trying to take advantage. But now I realize, like, okay, I gotta move. Now I knew when I came down here, I knew that there was somebody in here because the guy was shooting at it. Thankfully, that missed. So I knew that was the guy over on the other side. And I thought there's a really good chance that the last guy that I haven't seen is somewhere over in this area. But turns out uh, he wasn't. I kind of give it a second because I want to see if I can hear somebody. So now two other guys are fighting. That leaves one guy unaccounted for. So that's who I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the two guys fighting each other. It's the other guy. And guys, this is kind of a... I want to say a, a, a key thing because that ends up sort of being what happens here in a second um, just because you hear two people fighting doesn't mean you need to rush in and immediately get into a fight with them uh, it's okay to kind of let that fight play out and then kind of swoop in 
So that's why I'm looking for the guy that's unaccounted for, the guy who is you know not shooting uh, <laughs> is somewhere on on the in the circle, but I don't know where he is. So I go ahead and I start looking because I don't hear anything over where I'm at. So now I think, okay, well he's not here. Let's go ahead and we'll just build up. And here's something else that's key, guys. So I try not to build structures. I try not to do it. And the reason I try not to do it is because it gives away your position. When you give away your position, then you've given up the element of surprise. So the nice thing about the trees right here is you can move up, get down, and have a lot of cover. No one's going to see you immediately. So there's an advantage in this. So again, I know that the two guys who are fighting, I'm still looking for the other guy at this point. That's who my focus is on. That's who I'm trying to find. So I can now hear one guy coming in and he's landing. And I look for a, a, a shot. But I know that this guy is still fighting the other guy, whoever it is. But right as I'm kind of watching this now, I don't know if it's coming through pretty clear, but I can now hear there's another guy landing over near me. So he comes over. I see him, and he is now completely focused on the other two fights. So that's the last guy I was looking for. So now he's rushing up to him. They're going to have a build battle real quick. So I'm still looking for that moment. I take a really bad shot here in a second. So now these two guys are fighting. Okay, so my focus is now target of opportunity. That's what I'm looking for because I know I'm safe in the circle. I'm in a really good position. So it's just get a good shot. I've got the sniper rifle. Look for a good shot. I get a good shot or at least the opportunity and then I take a really bad shot. You'll see it here. So there's the guy I'm looking for. So now I know where the other two are. Now I know where this guy is. I'm seeing if he's rushing over to this uh, drop. He is. And oh, what a bad shot that was. I take a shot at him. Go ahead and take a slurp juice. I only had two rockets, by the way. So here's what I'm saying to myself. So like right here's the circle. Here's where I'm at. So I know all of us are going to have to move. I go ahead and I make sure that I opened up my map. Uh, I set the marker. Reload my sniper rifle. And again, this is the guy I'm focused on. And I take that guy out right there. So he gone. So now it's down to three of us. So here's now where I've got a ton of advantage over the other two guys. I'm at full health. The other two guys are fighting. So one of them's basically going to get taken out. And I know that the other one's going to be damaged. So there's only kind of one final mistake here to kind of point out that allows me to basically win this game. And what ends up happening is these guys... Or one of them just got taken out now. So one of them is now gone. So now I'm looking. Now I want to use my RPG at this point. If I can. Because I wasn't exactly sure where this guy was going to move to. And all of a sudden. I kind of sneak out. As the circle forces me in. And I see that he is now. He's now building up. Now look how high this guy is. Now here's the thing. So I know he doesn't have a vehicle. Um, he may have gliders. I don't even know if they put gliders in arena. I'm sure they do, but um, so all I realize is, okay, all I gotta do, I gotta knock this guy down. That's all I need to do. I need to knock him down before he can put down a launch pad because I thought that's what he's gonna do. So switch over to my AR real quick and go ahead and knock it down. And he takes 92 damage. So I see the 92 damage. I know he's down to eight health plus whatever his shields are. He's now rushing over to me. RPG, take it out. Shotgun. And two shots with the tactical. And I didn't mean to do that emote. I was not trying to dog the guy. I really wasn't. I was trying to do my little happy dance and I clicked the wrong thing. So whoever it was that I just killed, I apologize. It wasn't intentional. It really wasn't. I, I really wasn't trying to dog him. But guys, that's basically it. So that is me getting a, a victory following my steps, my methods. If you watch my other video on um, the things that I do to try to win the game, um, that's just those are the things that I implemented into this game. 
have a shotgun, have an AR, have some kind of explosives. Um, uh, the basically, you know, look for your moment of opportunity. Don't give away your position for free. Um, just, you know, everything that I covered in that video is basically what I did here. And that's kind of the point is if you're still looking to get your wins, you're still looking to get like, you know, your, your first victories, whether you're playing, you know, solo, et cetera, et cetera. And the funny thing is I had a, a friend of mine, um, who, uh, was kind enough to follow me to mixer from, from Twitch and he hopped in and he watched the whole game. And when we got done, he actually said, you know what? One, one day I told my buddy, they said, Hey, let's actually try to play the way that offline plays and let's see what happens. And he said that they played about 13 games. Uh, they were playing duos and, and they played about 13 games and they ended up winning 10 of them. And so it was just like, yeah, I know. I mean, it's, it's, it, if you're really good at the game, then you can kind of play whatever way you want. But if, if um, you're looking to try to just get the victories, then try to follow my steps, put yourself in a position to get to the end of the game. And that's where you can win. So, alrighty guys. So thanks so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And again, just remember something guys, I do not claim to be a good Fortnite player. In fact, I claim the opposite. I'm not a great Fortnite player. I'm just some guy who loves playing the game and I just want to try to get the wins. That's how I have fun. Personally, I know that's not how everybody has fun in the game. Just play the game that you, the way you want to have fun. And if you're looking to get some victories and you want to try to implement some of my strategy just to see how it kind of works for you, then please do so. And I'd love to hear from people to see if they're having success with it or whatnot. So anyway, guys, thanks so much. And, you know, always you can follow me on Mixer at this point. That's where I'm going to be streaming. Uh, so just search for me there. My name offline. I'll put it right here. Ding. And uh, thanks so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon. See ya.